I would never suspect this would happen in a hundred years, you know? And it, like I said, it, it's just so sad. I, I really do feel sorry uh, for the victim, and, uh, and especially the mother, and most of all, the two young kids was in that house. Uh, to me, it's just was so sad that the fact that they had the witness to a murder and they was in the house, to me, I hate to use this word, it's like to me, they was trapped. They, could, they couldn't go anywhere. A Pittsburgh mother is dead after her boyfriend allegedly murdered her over Memorial Weekend. The police said the man was accused of performing the act right in front of his young niece and nephew. The victim in this situation has been identified as 34-year-old Tawana Williams. Neighbors and family are now shaken, but hope they can get justice for their loved one. I hope nothing never happened like this again in this neighborhood. And I know it pushing me out, you, you probably had to get a bulldozer to push me out. I'm not going anywhere. Tawana Williams was 34 years old and lived in Virginia. According to her Facebook, she went to Pittsburgh High and studied at American National University. Tawana later obtained a license in cosmetology. She graduated in 2020 during the pandemic. <laughs> Second. Tawana. Tawana worked in a career she loved as a hairstylist in a salon in Petersburg. When she wasn't working, she was busy being a mother to her beautiful children. Tawana also was in an on and off relationship with her boyfriend, Donald Johnson. Donald also lived in Virginia and he is 32 years old. And according to reports, Donald worked as an operator. And although the two were reported to be in a romantic relationship, reports didn't state the ins and outs of their relationship. However, Tawana was a person who was very vocal about how she felt on social media. She used her platform to express herself, but on May 27th at 5.10 a.m., Tawana left a message as it relates to storms, it left a lot of people disturbed. She said, just because the storms pass, it doesn't mean it's over. It's going to happen again, but you have to be prepared. If not, you're not dressed for the weather. A lot of bad things can happen. You have to have your raincoat, rain boots, and umbrella to make it through without getting wet because getting wet will make you go back and start over. And this time, I don't have time to start over. Sadly, just three hours after that message, Tawana was gunned down by Donald Johnson after a heated argument in a family home. Violence erupts in Petersburg. Good evening, everyone. I'm John Burkett. A domestic homicide investigation underway after dispatchers got a call for shots fired at a home on Talley Avenue and kids were inside the house when it happened. The investigation continues. Neighbors who were outside stated they could hear the two arguing and later came gunfire. Police officers responded to the home around 8.54 a.m. Saturday after someone called 911 to report what they heard. When they got there, the officers found Tawana Williams, who unfortunately died from her injuries. Neighbors said Donald's young niece and nephew were at the house being babysat by their grandmother. I mean, like a tap gun, like a little... Pop, 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 pop. When police got to the scene, they found the victim, identified as Tawana Williams, a Petersburg mother, now dead from multiple gunshot wounds. According to neighbors who were outside at the time of the incident, Johnson's young niece and nephew were present when the shooting happened and were being babysat by his mother. According to the neighbors, the two were arguing right before the shots rang out. Yates says that his community is usually a quiet one. After the incident, police immediately arrested him and charged him with first degree murder. Right now, police do not have a motive in this case, and anyone with information about the incident is asked to contact the Petersburg police or their local authorities. I will continue to keep my thoughts and prayers with the friends and family of Tawana, especially the children who had to witness this. 
This is completely devastating. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions down below. Let's please respect the family and the victim in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys dearly. And with that being said, don't forget to check on your loved ones. Thank you.